the, uh, the natural killer cell. Obviously, this is a, a test done in the laboratory, checking the ability of the natural killer cells to kill cancer cells in the test tube. And before the examination, we get the data, we'll call it 100%. Then during the examination, took the blood again and checked for the natural killer cells' ability to kill cancer cells. As you can see, the uh, activity dropped about 60% in the first experiment from 100% to 40%. In a repeat experiment, in another occasion, again, notice that during the examination, uh, the natural killer cell's ability to kill cancer cells also diminished, decreased. So obviously, taking examination could be a stress for the medical students here. And under the stress, a person's natural killer cell activity decreased. A few years ago, a book called Psychoneuroimmunology. This is a comp compilation of uh, many hundreds of papers uh, dealing with the effect of uh, stress on immune function. The conclusion is stress suppresses functions of natural killer cells, phagocytes, and T lymphocytes. You remember natural killer cells and T lymphocytes are the two types of immune cells that can kill viruses and cancer cells. And the one is more versatile, as I mentioned before, is natural killer cells. Because natural killer cells does not wait for 10 days or two weeks to carry out its attack. As soon as natural killer cell encounters, let's say, a cancer cell, incidentally, all of us are constantly having cancer cells in our body. Our body, normal cell, will often turn into cancer cells. But if just a few cancer cells there, as soon as natural killer cell detects it, it will immediately attack these cancer cells. Toxicity were constantly being exposed to different kind of uh, toxic material, chemicals in the air, chemicals in our environment, chemicals in our food. And we also, some of us, exposed to drugs. And uh, of course, recreational drugs, we all know, carries a detrimental effect on the immune function. Even over-the-counter drugs, many of them will impair the function of the immune cells. How about prescription drugs? Even prescription drugs will also have a negative effect on the immune system. Now, if we look at the literature or physicians' uh, death reference, there is no section on effect on immune system. But what we will see is uh, words like leukopenia or decrease of uh, leukocyte or white blood cells, granulocytopenia or decrease of granulocytes such as phagocytes, and uh, agranulocytosis or simply depletion of the uh, granulocytes. So all these words uh, will tell us and even uh, tell us that it has something to do with the immune function. And of course, bone marrow hypoplasia, and it will show that it actually suppresses that bone marrow function. So when people take drugs, I usually tell them, be sure, get the literature get an insert from the pharmacy, or today you can actually look up in the internet. You'll find out what kind of adverse effect you may experience. This way you will know whether or not you're dealing with the side effect of a certain drug 
or you really have a uh, illness. Now I want to turn our direction to the factors that will boost the immune function. And I want to introduce you at this point the, uh, let me see, the four E's. <laughs> you can read the, the, the four E's. One, two, three, four, four E's. Four E's concept that we use in our practice. The four E's. The first E refer to eating. The emphasis here is smart eating. The second E refer to exercise. The key word here is enjoyable. The third E is elimination. You see, I mentioned we are constantly being exposed to different kind of toxic materials. So we need to eliminate these toxic materials from our body. Then the fourth E is emotional support. These are four E's. Eating, exercise, elimination, and emotional support. Eating here, we emphasize smart eating. Meaning we want to have wholesome, unrefined, the least processed food. Wholesome, unrefined, least processed food. And of course, we want to drink plenty of water. When do we drink water? During the meal or in between meal? In between meal. You all know very well. If we drink water during the meal, there's a tendency that we will dilute our digestive juice or impair or slow down our digestion. Now, when I say wholesome food or whole food, I simply mean something you can see, you can recognize. I think you call, all can recognize these three items there. All right? Now, when you turn to packages like that, unless there's a label there, you may not know what you have there. Now, when you turn into bottle, unless a label there, you may not know what it is. So apple will turn to apple juice. Apple juice, of course, is very good. But one drawback we have is that to preserve the apple juice in the jar, in a bottle, it needs to be heated up. And heating often destroys all the nutrients. And also will convert the natural fruit sugar into refined sugar. So it may not be the uh, best uh, Drink beverage. I still remember one of my former professors and has been diagnosed as having borderline, borderline diabetes. He actually is very careful with all his diet. But he goes to meetings a lot, meeting in the society and in the uh, different kind of scientific meetings. And so people will usually serve drinks, serve uh, alcoholic beverages. Now, he does not drink be uh, alcoholic beverage. So he ends up with be drinking apple juice, orange juice. And in a few minutes, somebody will come over, give him another, another uh, cup or another glass of orange juice or apple juice. So as he told me, often in a meeting, he will drink six, seven glasses of uh, Apple juice or orange juice. And orange juice is good. Apple juice is also very good. But obviously, these are not, not the squeeze, the freshly squeezed the juice. So he drank a lot. Every time when he went back to check his blood sugar, it's always borderline diabetes. So he wondered what he should do. Should he take medicine or should he do something? So he came to see me. I told him, after I did the detective work, I said, uh, let's see if uh, this, uh, all these juice uh, is your problem. I said, can you stop drinking this many glasses of juice, bottle of juice, for one month and, and check it again? Sure enough, after that, his blood sugar was normal. 
Now, potato chips. I think we, I like potato chips. So I'm showing the slide here. I'm not saying you don't, don't eat any of the potato chips, but just don't eat it every day. Or don't eat it even every week. Once in a while, probably will be OK. <laughs> so let's see this kind of food. Very colorful, lots of varieties. And this kind of food, see if it will help boost our immune system. Here's a study comparing the uh, vegetarians and the meat eaters in, in their natural killer cell activity. And it shows that vegetarians at had twice, twice stronger natural killer, natural killer cell activity compared with the omnivores. So as I said, I love natural killer cells. These are my friends. And uh, so you know how to keep the natural killer cells active.